Well, for families hoping and praying for justice and closure, help is on the way in San Joaquin County. The Sheriff's Office announced the formation of a cold case unit today. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has more information. The shock is just devastating. Ching Lor wears the shirt that pictures his brother Joe, Joe's wife Gina, and daughter Kayleen, shot and killed nearly two years ago in Stockton. In the time of the incident till now, you know, we would never stop grieving. It was Mother's Day 2018 when inside the Sierra Vista neighborhood apartment behind me, the Lor family gathered. Suddenly, shots rang out. All three were killed. Although it is a Stockton case and still an active investigation, there are other homicide cases that have gone cold in San Joaquin County, and those cases will now get a second look. Two detectives, Sergeant Linda Jimenez and Irene Shelve, will make up the unit. Our goal is to solve every single one of them. Um, is that realistic? We hope so. The caseload is immense. There are approximately 200 cold case homicides dating back to 1964, and there are nearly 100 sexual assault cases and nearly 50 missing persons cases. So as a detective that's coming from like a normal caseload of 15 to 30 cases to walk into 400 cases, that's, that's challenging. Although it's a work in progress, already the Sheriff's Department has a link to its website listing cold cases so far. Many of the older cases are in boxes and folders and need to be searched by hand and entered into the database. High profile cases like the infamous Speed Freak Killers, two men who went on a 15 year killing spree starting in 1984, will get added attention. We won't find everyone, but it will not be for a lack of trying. And Chang Lore hopes no one will give up on his case. And we're hopeful that the system will all, uh, find some way to, to, to give us some closure.